Okay, we're going to be talking about inherited curses from the family bloodline. It's not something that people like to talk about. You'll hear from people saying that there's no such thing. Jesus came. Jesus shed blood on the cross. Stopped all of this. Jesus' blood on the cross stopped the curse of the law. Not generational curses. The subject is really touched, ta talked about by most major churches and ministries, which leaves their congregations in spiritual bondage. Many people, including Christians, go about trying to cast out the enemy from their lives, but, but don't see much progress. And they go back to the negative situations or even get worse. Deliverance is not a one-time event. It's a way of life. And most people don't want to commit to this being a way of life. They'd rather go about living with their demons. Curses can provide legal grounds for demonic afflictions to enter people and their families through their bloodlines. People all over the place are afflicted by long-term generational curses. They have no clue that these curses are operating in their personalities or families, and they are unable to break free until the strongholds are identified, and then can be rooted out by canceling their legal rights. And as you know, and, and what's what's what is so ironic is it is so easy to identify some of these generational curses. I was able to identify some of my own. And we'll get to that. I'll, I'll, I'll share that with you. Um, they have um, Curses come into the family line through iniquity or sin done by ancestors, by our ancestors. Inviting the wrath of God into the family line. Now, don't get me wrong, they probably did not do it knowingly. At least I would hope that they didn't. This opens doors for multiple wickedness to invade the family and the generations ahead until they are broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, the Lord Jesus Christ became a curse for us sinners so that, that all the past, present, and future curses can be rooted out through him and in the blessings of Abraham can be, can be fully received and manifested in us. Those who are in, the, for those who are in Christ... So how do we identify these curses in people? Supernatural discernment helps to identify them. The Holy Spirit will guide us to expose and reveal what is hidden as we pray and seek earnestly. But you know what? There are some common areas when it comes to generational curses, okay? One of them is chronic illnesses like cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, arthritis, Gastrointestinal disorders. Now, I'll tell you right now, diabetes goes back, we've, it's hit three generations. Right there's a generational curse. High blood pressure, it's hit three generations. Right there's a generational curse. Heart disease, three generations. Cancer, it goes back even further than that. How about emotional weaknesses such as mental instability, schizophrenia, devil mindedness? If you can see this in, in past generations, it's a generational curse. How about oh, financial lack, poverty, debt, unemployment? Or relationship trouble? What's the divorce rate in your family? Can you see divorce in every generation for a while back, going back? Family strife, is there always something going on? I've, that, that's happened in my family, too. That's one, two, three, four, probably about four generations. Premature or unnatural deaths in the family. Sexual perversion. Yeah, that can be inherited too. Mm. Addictions like alcoholism, drug abuse, gluttony. How about nicotine addiction? And you know, I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't think much about that until I wanted to quit smoking. And I realized it was a, 
It was a generational curse. It went back four generations that I know of. How about being accident prone? Do, how about one part of being accident prone is falling? I, I'll admit I've fallen several times. My mom and dad were both they both fell. Um, I don't know how far back that goes in my generation. How about um, barrenness of the womb, infertility? Many curses come through adultery, witchcraft, or manipulation. Inherited or purchased gifts from pagan sources, idols, objects, and artifacts in the house, adultery, homosexuality. It can all be generational. Um, curses can be broken according to Galatians 3.13. But those demons which came in through the curses do not leave easily as the individual needs to cancel their legal rights for them to operate in their minds. Jesus Christ purchased our redemption at the cross by shedding his blood, but it is for us to appropriate that redemption by faith, as without faith nothing can work, like as in an autopilot mode. The specific curse or multiple curses has to be identified and called out in the name of Jesus so that those demons manifest and leave the leave the individual let's let's get to the prayer in the name of Jesus Christ I break and loose myself and all family from all curses caused by habits charms hexes spells jinxes psychic powers sorcery witchcraft love potions psychic prayers violence trauma physical bondages mental bondages incest illegitimacy abandonment rejection and divination and the family of the mother and father, going back all the way to Adam and Eve. I break and lose myself and anybody listening to this prayer and my family from any vows I made or they made, from any person or any occult or psychic sources, or any demons coming through the bloodlines. I cancel all invitations made to unclean spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I break and renounce all evil soul ties that I have or anybody else has ever had with Lodges, fraternities, sexual partners, close friends, relatives, engagements, cigarettes, drugs, movies, TV shows, computer games, occult objects, the list is endless. I renounce all of these ties and declare them destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce, break, and loose myself and and all of our families from all other religions, especially Roman Catholicism, Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, Mormonism, Jehovah Witnesses, New Age, and other religions. I also renounce unbelief, doubt, lies, fear, hatred, and anger. I bind and cast out all related spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce, break, and loose myself from all demonic subjection, to my parents or any other human being, <laughs> living or, uh, or living or dead, who has dominated me in any way against the will of God. Thank you for setting me free. <coughs> I command Satan to lose all natural resources, land, animals, money, the finances of people who owe us money, and all the things you have stolen from my family that is ours through the blessings of Jesus Christ. Father, Please send your angels to bring these things back to us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.